One of the great features in Good Day is the unlimited tree structure for your folders and projects with inheritance of settings, views, and user access permissions. This allows creating the intuitive, easy to use, and well-organized foundation for your work. In this tutorial, we will cover the common ways of organizing your projects, the basics of working with the folder tree, user management, and settings inheritance. Your organization's project structure really depends on your business, and there is no single correct way to organize it. Let's review a couple of common scenarios to help you get started. If you are organizing the work of multiple departments, we recommend creating a root folder for each department. Or, if your company provides professional services, consider grouping projects by type, team, or by client. For product companies, it is common to group work by product and to create relevant folders underneath. One of the benefits of organizing your folders and projects in a tree structure is the ability to use work views on any level within the tree. For example, if I enter a client A project, I will see tasks and subfolders related to this project, but if I switch to the client's project folder, I can see and manage tasks for all my projects on one screen. The same applies to other work views. For example, Gantt chart, where I can see the big picture for all of my projects and coordinate efforts accordingly. Keep in mind that if you want to put together data from specific projects or projects from different folders, you can always do so by creating a custom view. Now, let's review how user access permissions are inherited within your project structure. Let's add a couple of users to the client's projects folder. So, I go to the user management section and add Alex and Brandon, both with standard access. When you add users to a folder, you automatically grant them access to all the subfolders. So, if open the client A project and switch to users, I will see that both of these users have access. The small icon above the avatar indicates that access for the user was inherited from the parent folder. But let's say I want Alex to have full access to client A project. Even though this user has inherited standard access from the parent project, I can manually upgrade his access for this particular project to full. So, now, Alex has full access to the client A project but remains the standard access to the client projects folder. Similarly to user access inheritance, subfolders inherit settings from their parent. Let's review an example. I will create a new root folder. And customize work views. For example, I want to use the task table as the default view, and I don't need the board, timeline, and files. To better organize work, I will create a few subfolders underneath. Now, if I enter any of these folders, view settings will be inherited from the parent and I will see the same modules available with the task table as the default view. But again, I can easily customize this. For example, for issue tracker folder, I prefer the Kanban board view. So I go to settings and customize. So now when I enter issue tracker, I will see the Kanban board as the default view. The same applies to other settings including task types, custom fields, workflows, and other. Now you know the basics of working with Good Day Project Structure. For more information, please visit our Help Center.